What is that generational difference? Well, back in June, we saw the announcement of Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart from Insomniac Games, a title which uses the power of PlayStation 5, the SSD hard drive, and the DualSense controller to create an experience that Insomniac says is only possible on brand new hardware. Well, now it's time for you to decide if you see the difference. Here's an extended, uninterrupted demo of live PlayStation 5 gameplay of Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart. Enjoy. saw him, we may still have time to put a stop to this. Hey, I think I found the Wombat! Oh, dear. Let's show him how it's done. All right. Bringing out the big guns. Dimensionator, nefarious. Put down the Dimensionator. Yeah, right. Today, I will finally be free of the both of you. Soon, everything you see will be mine. Say goodbye. to happen? Hitting Nefarious's device seems to have destabilized reality. The bridge is shot! There has to be another way across. Hmm. The rifts appeared to react to your device. Try pointing it at one of them. <laughs> that was rather exciting. Games before trade! a very large octopus. I 
will never get used to that. Hey, at least we're on the same planet this time. Nefarious is on the other side of that building. Let's get moving before he does anything else to break reality. after all these just to try and take over the universe again? Yeah, I kind of wish he was doing a worse job. He must have more planned than he is telling us. That's what I'm afraid of. Dimensionator away from Nefarious! Oh no, not right now! Whoa! The dimensions are weakening considerably! Ratchet, we are too late. Ratchet? Who? There you have it, Ratchet and Clank, Rift Apart, and now I am joined by Marcus Smith and Mike Daly from Insomniac Games. Uh, guys, it was so great to see that uh, long, uninterrupted demo of uh, Rift Apart, and I have so many questions. Uh, it's amazing to see what you're doing with the power of PS5 and the SSD. Um, let me ask you first, Marcus, what are you able to do with Rift Apart that you haven't been able to do before in a Ratchet game because of the power of PS5? I mean, first and foremost, it's just pure horsepower enables us to fill our worlds with the kind of density and life that we've never been able to do before. Um, more importantly, perhaps, though, is the dimensional shifting that we have going on, which uses the SSD uh, that allows us to fling the player from planet to planet to planet uh, lightning fast, like in, in way, way faster than anything we've ever been able to do before. Yeah, the, the Rift Tether, we saw that in the uh, demo. We had seen some of that in the, the trailer. So that's that's all actual gameplay. Mike, I'm curious, like, how does that how does that work as you kind of play through the game? Are there certain moments and levels where you can jump, or how, how do you play through that? Yeah, so in the game, there is dimensional damage spread throughout the galaxy that Ratchet and Clank have to find a way to fix. And you can find these weak points in space-time that you can pull to, to you with your rift tether. It's like being able to lasso a portal. And that enables you to basically like warp across the world to find new places to discover or gain a tactical advantage in combat. Wow, yeah, I gotta say like when you see that and you imagine the, the jumping from multiple worlds uh, at, 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 you know, at instantaneously almost, and it sounds like there's no load screens throughout the entire game. That's right, we're going seamless. That's right, yep. 
Wow. All right. You buy so confident, both of you say it. I like it. Um, now, <laughs> let me ask you about dual sense. That's something that is a big part of PS5. Uh, I've had a chance to hands on with the controller with the adaptive triggers and the haptics. Um, how are you using that for, to sort of impact the gameplay of Rift Apart? So at the heart of every Ratchet and Clank game is a powerful arsenal of weapons that just exude a ton of personality. And the dual sense is sort of like, it feels like it was made for Ratchet and Clank just because the haptics give us a whole new layer for the weapons to express themselves. So for example, your burst pistol, of course it gives you like a satisfying click or kick with every bullet. But when you throw the shatter bomb, you can actually feel the energy pulsing off the grenade fade away as it gets further apart from you. Basically, the haptics are expressive enough that every weapon feels different and you can tell what you're holding. But of course, the adaptive trigger like takes that to a functional level where in addition to the trigger pull feeling unique, we can actually use that as a super intuitive way to add alternate functions to the weapons. So. For example, in the demo, we've got the Enforcer, which is a double-barreled shotgun. You can pull the trigger part of the way down until you hit resistance to fire a single barrel. And then whenever you feel like it's the right time, pull it the rest of the way for a double shot. So you might be swarmed by a bunch of little enemies. You only want to waste one shot on them. And then wait a minute for even more to swarm in before finishing them off. But a big guy, you probably want to just give both barrels to right away. Mm -hmm. So there's a nice intuitive way of basically raising the skill ceiling and giving you more ways to play better. Wow. No, uh, I'm excited to see how you guys are going to roll that out across what I'm sure are an insane uh, you know, group of weapons, as always. Uh, Plot-wise, Marcus, tell us a bit about this game. I think some fans have wondered, you know, does this tie into the movie plot line, the game plot line? Like how, tell us in the ratchet verse where this sits. Yeah. Well, canonically, this is a, an extension of uh, Ratchet and Clank um, into the Nexus, the 2013 game. But it's a standalone adventure. So it's one that, it, even if you've never played a Ratchet and Clank game, you can get into it and you'll understand it and you'll enjoy it. Um, for hardcore fans, we have a lot of nods. You're going you're gonna to see a lot of returning characters and planets and uh, see them all through a whole new light of uh, multi multiple dimensionality. Yeah, no, this this Rift Tether thing, I think, looks really exciting. And how often, like, is that something we saw in the demo? Is that something you're going to see, like, frequently in the game? Are they special moments? Like, I guess I'm curious, like, how often you use that technique for gameplay. So the, the Rift Tether has created these anomalies all throughout the galaxy. You'll encounter those pretty often. There's even a few more types of dimensional damage you'll encounter that we haven't shown yet. Okay. Now, being pulled between worlds... That's, that's localized to chasing after Dr. Nefarious in the demo. Um, and that's sort of reserved for special moments when you really have to, um, when, when the dimensional damage really tears wide open. Well, I gotta say, it looks incredible. And then at the end, we got another tease of uh, this female Lombax. Uh, I, I know you guys have confirmed she is playable in parts of the game. Uh, I think everyone wants to know though, do we have a name for her? Uh, I mean, the world is more interesting with mysteries, and we're going to have to keep this one uh, a little longer. Do, do we get a number of letters in her name or anything? <laughs> Too many smart people on the internet. They'll, get, they'll okay. figure it out right away. She's not named Abby, though, right? <laughs> All right, well, we'll have to wait and see what you guys have in store for us. I got to say, I mean, it looks incredible. The Ratchet games are always so much fun. And as you said, when you think of the power of SSD and the DualSense all coming together, uh, it looks really exciting. Before we go, though, uh, I think everyone around the world wants to know when we're going to get to play this game. Anything you can share with us on where you're at in development right now? Mike. <laughs> Mike? <laughs> So Ratchet and Clank is coming out in the PS5 launch window. So we haven't announced a release, a specific release date yet. So stay tuned for that. What kind of window? Is it a big window? So no, I'm just kidding. All right, that's all we're gonna get, I'm sure. Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart coming in the launch window for PlayStation 5. I gotta say, uh, Insomniac, uh, we're so excited what you guys are doing across PlayStation, and uh, the game looks incredible. So thank you so much for all you've done, and we look forward to seeing more of uh, Rift Apart soon. Thanks, Jeff. Take care. All right, Marcus and Mike yeah. from Insomniac, thanks, thanks for showing us that first look at Ratchet & Clank or PlayStation 5. And that's going to do it for opening night live.